Hi guys, I'm going to see if I can do this video without losing my voice. Um, so, <clears throat> just recently I've started a little collection of vintage photos. Um, most of these, well, some of them are off the internet, they're like postcards. Vintage postcards, real photos and things. And then some of them, like these, were from a place in Nottingham called the Hopkins, which deals mostly with vintage items from all different eras. It's like a, a lot of independent sellers come together and they sell the vintage goods in one place. So, um, yeah, so what I want to do, I've scanned them in so that I can use them in my artwork, but I want to keep the originals um, intact. In a sort of scrapbook. I was looking for a scrapbook and I couldn't find one that I liked. And then I thought, why oh, don't I just make one? <laughs> so, I've got a piece of card here that I'm going to use as the cover. And I'm just going to measure up the biggest one and I'm going to make the cover a little bit bigger, obviously. So that we can have a nice board around it. And I have somewhere some of those photo corner doodags that I'm going to use. I don't actually damage the photo. Um, and I forgot to get my ruler out, so bear with me. Yeah. There we go. Perhaps I should maybe a bigger idea, wouldn't it? So, um, five, five, five. Yeah, that's pretty straight. Well, wow. <laughs> that's the first time in my life I've ever drawn a straight line without measuring. So let's just cut that across me. <coughs> Really, really windy today. We're getting the remnants of that hurricane. Ophelia, something like that. I'm just I can't imagine how frightening it must be to actually go through a hurricane. I was frightened in a flash night when the winds were just a bit gusty, you know. It's terrifying. So, I think my page is about that big. Let's just see if it fit that in. Okay, so, about 17. No, let's see, that's how I want. Then let's go this side. That actually looks creepy to me. That's giving me a nice spine deck. Not too deep, not too shallow. That's very good. Yeah. 
go to it. Come on. Let me use it. Get it up on the table a bit better. There we go. I was going to use um, a cereal box or something, it's already been scored, but I'm a bit impatient and I haven't got any empty cereal boxes yet, so I thought, hang on, I've got some cards somewhere. <laughs> and this will do just fine, so happy days. Now then. Okay. Um, I'm not sure where to go next. Do I do the cover first? Do I do signatures first? So, I think I might do the signatures first. So, I'm going to pick papers that I want. Um, and I have these lovely papers from b and &M. I think you can tell by now that I love B&M. Um, they are double sided. That one's a bit bright to be honest. See that's really nice. Is that side too bright? I think so. I want it to be quite subtle, I think. I think it might be a bit too... See, that's really nice. I might use some of these for the cover. Oh, you see, that's nice. Yep, beautiful. That would make a really nice page. And now I've just torn the book. And it's just going to come off. <laughs> oh, well, well, okay. Again, that's a little bit dark. Possibly this one. Mm. Not so keen on that side. Mm. Kind of peeking now with the other side there. Is it? Yeah. Do we want two pages of that? Yes. We do. Because it's really good. Um, yeah, so the rest are going to be a little bit too bold and bright. So, next book. We want to. This one. This one's a bit more. Jelly, so we should be right with this one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't know how many pages I'm going to need. Let's see. I'm going to pick up. I'm going to collect them all, so we're going to need quite a few pages, aren't we? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We've got fourteen already. So if we try and aim for about twenty individual pages, and that will double up. Sort of. Um. <clears throat> How many have we got so far? Four. Um, 
bit bright. That's not that one. I'm not sure about that one. Yep. And then we're going back. So I think I'm just gonna pick oh this one I've already torn out of the other side, so yep, that there. signatures of four. So we'll pick four pages. Nice thick cardstock as well, so hopefully this will be strong enough to hold the photo. My maths teacher always used to say to get a straight line, you need at least three points lined up. So I like to do three or four. And then we should take a straight line. Although, if you've got a 
play for two minutes. Cut straight. You should have to worry too much about that. show you how I did all this but it's quite an involved process so what I'm going to do instead is show you well link the video for where I learned to do this because she's awesome it's a really clear video much clearer than I could ever do really easy to follow so I will link her in the description I'm just going to carry on with this now, it shouldn't take too long, although the book has been moved about quite a bit since, so the pages are probably not lined up properly, but there we go. Up through there, down. She also has a lot more experience with this, so she makes it look a little easier. But honestly, she's really good. And then back into the hole. Nice and tidy on the inside, there we go. I won't have to fiddle about too much with it. Okay. Good. Yeah, um, you may have noticed I have quite a few signatures in here. I wasn't planning to do this many, but I just kind of got carried away and it fills the book up, so it'll look good when it's finished, hopefully. And then we'll have plenty of room for our photos. So I also need to decide what I'm going to do for the cover because I don't know exactly what I want to do. Let's do something vintage. Um, and in keeping with the rest of the pages, but 
I'm going to have to try and find another piece of these creepers that I really like. So, let's see. What emblems are in these for some reason? Hopefully this will be nice to keep the book up that way. She also sells books that she's already made on Etsy and they look great. I'm going to support an artist. Go along to their Etsy page. Not on the side. Copy the back through the hole and pull it so they're not on the outside and the inside looks nice and neat. And then we can stick that. Um, the thread I'm using, by the way, is um, this. Um, you can probably, I don't know if you can see it, but it's quite uh, you see that on this side, brown in places. Uh, yeah, this is somebody's thread, it's second hand. My mom works in a charity shop and they get um, sewing machines and things donated. And she bought me a whole box reels and things and this is in there so it's a nice vintage thing to use for my vintage box so there we go now then oh uh yeah i'm gonna need to dig for a minute for my glue so we'll be back in one second okay so let's get rid of this pin hurt myself pop that on there Right, now, not 100% sure how to do this, we have a, a thing, a book press, I don't have that because I don't do this very often, this time, and we have to do Don't really know how to do it because these just like don't open wide enough. Um. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Be able to do it with me. I might have to just this might not work at all, but there we go. Pages still. Um, and even whilst we do this, um, oh, I think Irma not today. <laughs> so let's have a look at this glue then. So this is Colo book binding glue. Uh, it's a PVA glue, but it's PVA C glue, which means 
it's actually intended for bookbinding and also you can use it for scrapbooks and things because it is acid free so it won't ruin your books scrapbooks you have your photos which is perfect for this so I'm going to spread them on the binding I think mine's a bit thick you could probably do this better with thinner pages I'm going to go on to secure it. This is just about two layers, so we'll pop this on. And then I'm going to lay it down somewhere to dry. That will do nicely. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is grab the cover. And I think I'm going to have a little think about this. And I'll be back when I've got my cover paper. Okay, so I'm thinking that since this is the cover, um, I can be a bit more bold with the design. Um, I'm going to pop this down like this. And I'm just going to plan out how, where I need to cut. The centre, the spine, doesn't need to be perfect. You'll, you will see this, but I am going to cover it ribbon so I think we'll just do it to, to about half halfway there. Um I'm at a bit of a loss as to what I've done with my paper trimmer actually. I know I used it last time I made this video but oh it's a mess. So I'm just I'm gonna have a little V there. And that there. Turn it over and try and keep it in the same place. And we'll have a little, we'll cut it to that one. And we'll make a little piece there. And that there. There we go. And then 